everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom. Welcome back to my channel. Now, as you can see in the title, I am comparing um, the, the Perbel Foundation that we've all been seeing everywhere on social media for the past couple of months, it seems like. I mean, it's like it doesn't matter whether it's Facebook or, or YouTube or Instagram or any, any and all social medias, they are absolutely spending a ton of money on advertising. And they're advertising this foundation to us older women, aging women, with a lot of stuff going on on our faces. And I've had so many of you ask me in the comments if I've had a chance to try it. And I haven't. I've, I've watched so many of those little commercials uh, showing all different women who are truly aging, showing how this works. So I finally decided that I would just go ahead and order it and try it and see what the hype is all about. And that's what I've done. Now, let me give you a little bit of information about the Perbel. And you're going to see me put it on, apply it, and you're going to, uh, if, I, if I call it Purcell, I'm sorry, you may see that now that I think about it. I haven't edited the video yet, but if I when I went to type it in my, my browser, I did type Purcell, so I thought, Oop. if I typed it in, I may have said it incorrectly uh, in the video, but it's Purbell, P-E-R-B-E-L-L-E. -E -L -L -E. And... So let me tell you about it. Of course, it just comes in one shade because it goes on sort of white and then it self-adjusts to your skin tone. And it sells, uh, well, it's one of those things, I'm looking at my computer here, it says $129, $127, but they're doing all these discounts right now, I guess, because they're doing all the advertising. But I paid $39 for it, for this tube which is one ounce, 1.05 ounces. And, you know, one ounce is sort of typical, I think, for a lot of foundations. They come in different size bottles with different thicknesses. This is, uh, that's how it comes. And when I first saw the tube, I thought, oh my gosh, that's small. That's not gonna last any time. But then I started looking at other foundations to see just how much was in them. So that's sort of, sort of standard. Now, what I've compared it to on the other side of my face, and let me go to it, is a foundation that I purchased two or three weeks ago, and I've used it several times, and I really do like it. It's the Joa, the new Primedation, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Primedation, P-R-I-M-E-D-A-T-I-O-N, all-in-one foundation. And this says that, I'm looking on the website, it says uh, it works harder, it's supercharged skin care, hydrates with hyaluronic acid, boasts radiance with illuminating peptide, plumps with collagen, protects from blue light damage, Smoothing primer applies evenly, medium coverage foundation with a radiant finish. And it comes in 24 shades and it sells for $15.99. And this is 1.01 .01 fluid ounce. So quite obviously the, the Purcell is going to be um, uh, twice the price of this for basically the same amount. So you haven't seen me apply this yet, but do you think you know already which side is which? I used everything else the very same. Pretty much the same. You'll see when you watch the application of it. I did have to add some things to one. So that's the look, both sides. I'm looking in the mirror. $15.99 or was it $37? I don't know. I don't know. 
it's morning when I'm making this video and later today I will or I will ch really check it and if I have time to take some pictures I will but but I will also uh, let you know even if I have to just do annotations how it held up at the end of the day looking I don't know that I can see a whole lot of difference myself looking in the viewfinder and looking in the mirror. Have you tried it yet? Let us know in the comments what you think about it if you've tried it. If it really, I, I know that most of you, if you're on social media at all, you, you have had to see all of these commercials for it with these older women. I think I've seen one or two with younger women, but they had some skin issues. So, you tell me, what do you think? Guess now, and then when you start to look at the video and you see which side is which, you tell me if you were in the comments if you were right or if you were wrong. What do you think? Is the Purcell this side or this side? Let me know in the comments. All right, here we go. This says, again, that it is CC Cream, Color Correcting, Moisturizing, Makeup Base, and Foundation. It has an SPF of 43. It has, um, it's UVA, UVB, UVB broad spectrum. And the Joa is, it's the prime, primedation, all-in-one foundation with hyaluronic acid, collagen, and crystallide. It's called Crystal Glow. It's a uh, foundation and the uh, Perbel only comes in one shade, which is supposed to be self-adjusting. And this Joa, Joa, I'm in color PLN050. They're both cruelty-free. And we're just going to see how it works. As you heard me say earlier, I've not tried this before. It's a first impression. So I have to take off the little seal and I'm going to give it a shake and make sure it's on the website. This is nothing but all, all it really talks about is that it's uh, the, the sunscreen. Even on the label, it just talks about sunscreen. It says uh, it. Uh, the directions apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure, reapply at least every two hours, use a water resistant sunscreen if swimming or sunning, I guess. So, you know, I don't know. But I've watched about a zillion of these commercials of older women using this. So, and one thing they all do is they use their fingers to apply it. So it's white. And you know I have all this sun damage over here. So we're just going to do it on one side of the face. And start rubbing it in. And I'm using the viewfinder on my camera and my mirror here, my makeup mirror. Well, from the way it looked when I applied it or when I watched the videos 
it looked like it was much harder to rub in than it is. But I will say, you know, I have a lot of moisturizer on because to me, every time I saw it being applied, it looked like the skin was, it made your skin real dry. So right now, my skin doesn't feel dry at all. And other than eye makeup, in all of the little advertisements, there was never any blush or anything else applied afterwards. Okay. I'll try to come in close, zoom in a little bit better when I edit this. Let me get this off of my hands. Again, I have no idea what it's going to look like when I get this edited, but it's very soft feeling. So this is the Joa, and it's a pump. So we'll, I'm going to use my fingers. Now, it's already a different color. It's more of my skin tone. I'm not used to applying foundation with my fingers. So this is definitely a different color. Mm. used a cream eyeshadow so I've rubbed some of my eyeshadow off I'll have to repair that well this is more of a looks more of a matte and this is more dewy you can probably see it This is much more, feels much more drier, or it, it feels dry, it feels like it's dried down to more of a powdery finish. But I think under eye, there's really no difference. I need, let me wipe my hands off again, and get a ton, I'm gonna see if I can build up under
I already tried to build conceal under this eye and that's not really working. So let me grab, this is CoverGirl, Simply Ageless Instant Fix. I've been trying to use this up. So we'll see if that gives me A little bit, maybe, yeah, but maybe that helped a little bit. Ooh. I don't know. I'm gonna put some powder under this eye, and I'm still using, I bought up several of these little e.l.f. Uh, this is sheer. I, I love this for my under eye, but this is no longer being made. Let's see here. Just get a... Okay, that brings that down just a little bit. Now, I'm gonna have to powder this. So this is Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I'm just gonna find a brush here. down the shine a bit. This doesn't need powdering at all. I need to buy a new one of these, the e.l.f. Contour Palette. I have just about used this up. So let's See if we can get a little bit more color. Wet and Wild. And you know I'm going to list everything I'm using uh, in addition down below. So, Let's fix things up a little bit. I received uh, the other day, or several days ago now, uh, some PR from BK Beauty, the introduction of the new lipsticks and lip liners, and 
normally I wear the CoverGirl lip stain, you know, that lasts all day, every day, because I'm wearing a mask most of the time. Uh, and it just stays on. But I wanted to give these a try, and I'm having to tell you, I'm really, really liking them. Uh, it I'm using the shade lip liner, Ultra Ego. I'm not the best with little lip liners, but it does help with the side that is drooping. And the color of lipstick I'm using is Acceptance. And these feel wonderful on the lips. I've been wearing them every day since I got them. And most of these, the liners, go with the lipsticks, although, although they have different names, but you can mix and match them any way you want to, and that's what I've done. So thank you, Lisa, BK Beauty, for sending these to me. Let's, um, let me fix this eyebrow here just a bit. Okay, let me tell you how I feel about this, about the Purcell. I'm going to see how it wears today. And when I edit this video, I will put, uh, if I can't show you pictures, I will for sure uh, put some annotations so that you'll know uh, how I like it, if it lasts all day. Uh, this is a more, the Purcell is a more matte finish, a more powdery look, whereas even with the powder, the Joa Primedation Primedation, I believe that's the way it's pronounced. All-in-one foundation, crystal glow, and that's, I guess, crystal glow means that you're going to have some glow from it. So this side certainly has some glow where this side, the Purcell side, does it. So that would be a, a matter of preference for us. I keep looking in my mirror. If I look in my mirror, I can see a real difference in the two sides. When I look in my viewfinder, coverage-wise, they're very similar. I can still see some light sunspots here, and I can also see here, and I did not use any additional concealer down here. I did have to use some concealer under this eye. I didn't here. I can certainly, uh, I can certainly see uh, I, I like this. I like it. Um, and I'm going to continue to try it. If, if you have tried the Purcell CC Cream Color Correcting Moisturizing Makeup Base and Foundation, if you have tried this already, and um, whether you like it or not, would you let us know in the comments? I mean, they are advertising this like crazy. 
Uh, so let me know what you think. I think, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with this. But I have two different looks, actually. A more matte look, powdery look, and a more dewy look, for sure. Glowy look. So I think it, part of it is just going to depend on what you like. So let us know if you've tried it. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you think you will try it. I want to thank you so much, so much for watching today and know how much I appreciate you. Uh, I want to thank uh, BK Beauty too for sending the lipsticks and the lip pencils. I love them. Highly recommend them if you like to wear lipstick. It is, oh my God. It feels so good, so moisturizing on my lips. You know, the, the CoverGirl Outlast that I wear most days, it, it gets so dry on your lips, and you do have to reapply the, the gloss that goes with them. Uh, I do at least a couple of times during the day. But this, this of course, is not going to last as long. But gosh, it feels so good. It feels so good on my lips. And I love the colors. Most of the colors that, and they sent all of the colors. And I think I can wear all of the colors. If I don't, I have daughter and, and daughter-in-laws and granddaughters who will like them. So again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go out and be kind. Be kind to yourself so that you can be kind to others. Know that I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.